do the welcome. I got some news yep. for people. Recording. <laughs> well, news for people after my welcome. It's like, yeah, because <laughs> it'll be a funny. It'll be a funny story to have in the recording, Joey. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gonna yeah. intro us to D and D. Then you're gonna tell an unrelated D and D story. Then we're back to it. Yeah, oh. it's it's like a um like one of those news reports that just suddenly cuts in like yeah. uh, at the five last five Ooh. minutes of a important storyline arc. Hi uh, everyone, uh, family guy ready? cutaway guy. Hi everyone, you ready for some D and D? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready for just D and D and no stories okay. about anything else. I'm ready for D and D. And let's get started. Unless someone else has something to say. Oh, I don't. Something. Oh, something to say. Okay, that wasn't very funny. Needs work. Needs work. Get a level of, <laughs> level of um, exhaustion. What, me? No! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't remember what happened last time. I was in a... I was in a drunken stupor from a cold. Um, you flew to a ship on the back of uh, Dragon Mom, killed some ghosts, fought some orcs, who were very upset with their god Talos. And Talos was very upset with them. Um, so God, so Talos himself appeared in the storm raging around the ship, the uh, undead dreadnought, um, assaulted it with air elementals and lightning bolts and crashing waves, thus doing your job for you and sinking the ship. What are you talking about? It, it, we, we just had a two hours of shopping. Oh. Well, I had a pretty cool... D D session in my head, I suppose. <laughs> but crazy. Uh, you return to Leylon, uh, the undead dreadnoughts um, destroyed or, or sunk to the bottom of the sea, and uh, the cult of Talos no longer in a position of power on the Sword Coast. And as you were claiming your reward of eight thousand gold pieces, but I think you already spent some in the last session I don't remember exactly uh, they said they had word of um, they found out the location of where Evan Death was uh, within the Mirror of Dead Men but Murigold says um, our representative from Candlekeep who knows the information hasn't arrived yet so we uh, may have to wait till That means y'all get a long rest. Oh, uh, we bought a potion of heroism and a couple of greater healing potions. Oh, yeah. That sounds right. Sounds like us. That tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Buying stuff. So you all take a long rest, change up your spells, revive your dead animal companions. magically turns into Rudy, the mischievous little scamp. Remember Rudy? E the e Oklahoma Corpus. mountain lion. Oklahoma of, um, you know, extreme south uh, Peru. Or mi Midwest Peru, I don't know. Alright, so the next morning... It was, uh... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say that um, the Oklahoma is like uh, the Homa of someone named Okla. Yeah. I mean, sure. Oklahoma's great. So the next morning, we um, receive the um, representative from Candlekeep arrives in a swirling portal, much like you remember from um, several months ago when a half dead dwarf arrived from Candlekeep and you went on an adventure that old secret space this time you see a familiar red wizard a red cloaked wizard with a red hat step through and a ner very nervous uh, Simon steps through the portal with a bunch of books and maps in his hands uh, you remember him he was the first person you met when you ventured to Candlekeep for, your f for that first adventure Hello, Simon. Good oh. to see you again. Oh, I have a... Hello again. Um, 
I remember you, Mr. Maruk. Hard to forget you. One well, we could say, I'm unforgettable. You know. Not like you see it well of me, you know, every day, you know, it's not this terrible common thing. You know, Lu Miss Louisula? Hello? Hi! Uh, Mr. Zizix? Hello? Greetings. I'm not, not familiar with. Uh, oh, Mr. Levin, of <clears> course. <throat> Uh, pleasure to see you again. Uh, Selena bows to the uh, the new guy and uh, pats uh, Rudy on the head. And whispers into his ear, "Not food." It's not food. Oh. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. that is Selena, and I kind of whisper. So it's not quite right about her, but it's, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Okay. Well, I heard um, quite the tales about you in the past few months. Um, you were trapped in a book. Oh, yes. It's apparently spent six months there, though. So. Well, I'm sure you had all sorts of adventures. Um, me, myself, um, spent, some, spent some time in Waterdeep. Um, you might have heard the stories of uh, the reclamation of the, the Dragon Horde. No, yeah. you haven't, haven't heard of that. No, no. Uh, we, we've been busy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Been well, pretty preoccupied because I, I had a small, small part of that. Actually, just me and my friends. Kind of like it's kind of my own adventuring group. Um, actually, I don't know how I survived it. It was actually quite terrifying. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds about right. But um, I made my way back to Candleheap um, when I heard the news that um, you were looking for the uh, the resting place of Evendeck, the Draco Lich, who I hear is very much alive now. Mm. Alive yep. is it? No, well, technically, he is currently possessing a green dragon. So, in a sense, oh. it's. I mean, it's always kind of weird when you talk about living and undead. Well, if we could um, find some someplace a little more private, so I can, uh, you know, these books are pretty heavy. Um. Uh, uh, well. Oh. Oh. Somewhere. I guess we. Could get, I guess we could get a private room at the inn or something. Go there. They might have uh, a business center with offices. All I need really need is a table. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Don't worry about it. We got it covered. Not on me, at least. I actually inherited quite a fortune the in, 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 the, in the previous adventure I had mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'll consider it a loan. You can pay us back later. Maybe. If we survive. If we don't, well, then you're up. Well, then you get us scot free. Uh, let Lemon all uh, take the books from him to help carry and give him a very confused look as to how exactly he considered this to be heavy. <laughs> <laughs> There's one book I mean, in, one, in, one, in, one, in one scroll. This lemon can lift a bus. <laughs> well, so could I, probably. Uh, if, if I remember right. Um, uh, Simon's strength is Sally five. was the bus. <laughs> All right, uh, where where shall you go? To discuss your uh, your next move. Guess we can go to the Knights Goblets Inn. I go to the docks because after what happened there, no one's going to be hanging out there, so less chances of eaves eavesdropping. Well, they might also be rebuilding. <laughs> uh, we yeah. need somewhere with a table. Hence the inn. Cast create table. I don't have that in mind. Rudy could be a table. Just drape a like a board on top. Rudy, we're oh. not going to do that to Rudy. <clears throat> Again, let's just go to the inn. It makes the most sense. Yeah, let's just let's. Just, Agreed. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just do that. I was asking because there's two inns, but um, oh, no, nice goblet, nice goblet, nice goblet. Yeah, nice goblet. The yeah, one that, we can afford. The one that was yeah, stolen from oh, us. Oh no, the, the the oh we can afford either one. We're, 
we're still pretty we're still pretty flush with cash. Yeah, the uh, night goblin used to be your home. Yeah, we're familiar with it. We until like you it. In, in, until you blipped for six months. Yep. <laughs> until you blipped for six months. It He's happens. Yep. <laughs> uh, I mean, at least it wasn't five years. So you find oh, a, could you imagine? <laughs> you find a free table. Simon begins laying all these maps and putting all these books and Lemon, you know, is helped him out there. And he goes, um, the story of Evan Death is quite fascinating. Uh, did you know that he became a Draco Lich in, uh, in years past? He was actually very quite dangerous. We are very familiar with that, in fact. Yeah, mm. but uh, eventually, um, you know, as... God's powers wane as less people worship him, and um, Merkel kind of lost favor here. And as he did, uh, Evan Death just sort of faded away. The better of all. Uh, unfortunately, it seems Merkel has come back to power, and one of his first order of business was to resurrect um, Evan Death. So I'm not, I'm not envying you. Um, uh, you're, um, you're not expecting me to come with you, are you? Uh, do you happen to know Fireball? <laughs> he goes, well, maybe a little. I don't think I, I don't think I learned that one. Well then, Lemon does he know they... Fireball? No, he doesn't know any fire spells. <laughs> Most of my spells have to do with reading <laughs> and creating writing. Hmm. Well, I mean, we could cast Knowledge uh, Ball. He knows Skyrite. Go, hey dragons, stay away from here. I guess he could conjure a oh, book yeah. and we could burn it and throw it at the Draco Lich. But no, no, no. That's your services won't be required in that way, Simon. So, in the Mayor of Dead Men, there once stood a tower called the Ulf Tower. Um, that's where the cult of Merkel kind of made their headquarters. Um, but in the centuries since, it actually sunk to the sunk into the swamp. Um, that's why this location has been lost to us. So I had to dig through our records and uh, find old maps of the mare. And uh, as luck would have it, I came across it. No way. Yeah. Not a chance. Oh, <laughs> I know. I am very good at uh, finding lost scrolls. Really? Yeah. It's, I can I can tell you about some of the the rare oddities I've discovered. Or you could transcribe them to a book and have a little ledger to give to us for our reading pleasure later. That sounds that sounds delightful. <laughs> his face is just his lights up. <laughs> Literally, split, just blank face, nodding at him. <laughs> like I don't want to hear you talk, but I'll read. I'll read it later. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. You get the first I'm copy. Slowly, slowly, you'll get the first copy. Oh, okay. Thank you. I look forward to it. <laughs> Throws it in the fire when she gets it. <laughs> no, gives it to her dad because Garrett will eat that up. <laughs> he pulls out the map of the mare. And um, he circles a po uh, yeah. like a portion of it, saying, "This is where you'll find the tomb." Well then, uh, should be easy enough journey. Um, just miles of corrosive swamp water and uh, brambles and um, such things. Well, Selena wants to cast insight to see if he's telling us everything he knows about the area. <laughs> just, give me, just give me an insight check. That's ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's read a lot of books. Read a lot about the Mayor of Dead Men. Trust him. Um, I, uh... Must give a little bit of warning. Um, he kind of looks around at the kind of empty, empty inn. Um, not a lot of travelers lately along these days. Yeah, I, I heard that um, Evan Death survived the assault and escaped with a 
An artifact called the Ruin Stone. Indeed. Um. Well, I've. You no doubt um, understand that Ebon Death has full power is extremely dangerous. Um, Absolutely. Okay, just so you know. So the things I've read. Ooh. You read anything about a weak spot for Ebon Death? You just kind of like a <clears throat> trying to suppress a laugh. Weak spot? Yeah, does he have any food allergies or anything like that we could exploit? Mm. Well, he does. He probably has the same allergy to this <clears throat> sword that all other dragons have. Well, if he's a Draco Lich, that means he's got a phy phylactery, like any other with Lich does. True. Oh, I'm afraid his uh, his Lich days are over. Um, from what I understand, uh, he's now just possessing, like you said, a, uh, a living dragon. Well, that is both a good and bad thing, I suppose. Do we know any kind of spell that end possession? Not that I know. Uh, that's not exactly a specialty of any of us. Oh, something of this scale, of this power. I mean, Merkel himself has blessed the possession. Well, I'm sure he has more than one scale. It's a dragon, after all. Not that kind of scale. <laughs> Well, uh, I suppose that's uh, all I have to say, and now all I can think about is uh, starting this new book. But of course I wish you all luck. Um, thank you very much. Any uh, any buffs you think you could give us that would are just a good, good luck and well wishes? I can uh, comprehend language languages. Uh, I think we have... I th uh, think we can handle that. I might know knock. Uh, do we have anything that's locked? No. Mm -mm. Uh, and, well, then I, I guess I'll just stay here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but, but before, we, pat, before we leave... I, I just pat him on the head. Before we leave, Selena um, reaches into her pocket and gives the, um, the wizard a... Uh, a feather that uh, is from uh, um, Fernando, and says, "Here, use this as a quill for your for your vocal writing. It'll give you good luck." A new quill! Oh, how exciting! Oh, I do have. I do have. Are you going to be in town for a while? Oh yes, I think I might might stay a while. I toss a sending stone at him. Oh. Um, hold he on flinches. <laughs> yeah, he flinches. He doesn't catch it. Ah. Okay. Don't forget to tune it to him. Um, just hold on to this for us. And if you hear if you hear us shouting out of send help, send them th send them towards us. If you hear screaming, if you hear screaming coming through the stone, send I mean, help. It's like oh 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 dear okay. If there's anything else you can do in town before you leave. I, do you think we should go to uh, the shri the shrine to uh, Lathander Shrine? Maybe get a blessing. Maybe. Are there any arrows that I could uh, buy that would give me an increased uh, like, uh, damage? Because I just have uh, twenty regular arrows. You technically buy plus one arrows, but it's just one arrow. You know, one arrow at a time. I think you can only buy arrows in packs. Do you think holy water would work on a possession? She don't. Selena has only one copper in her, in her inventory. She will not buy any arrows. <laughs> she never do grabbed you, a piece of the uh, communal pot. Do you, do you need some... Did you want to buy... Did you want to buy some arrows? Maybe I would like to buy buy some arrows. Yes. Uh, how much are the plus one arrows? Well, that's something I have to find out. Hold on. 
So plus one arrow would be 50 gold pieces each. And I usually don't do um, like retrieving arrow rules, but if you fire it, you'll, you'll only have a 50% chance of recovering it. Can I get four? Oh, once it hits. Oh, here's the thing. Oh, once you hit something with a target, it's no longer magical. Oh. Oh, is that, is that true? Yeah, I'm looking at the description. It says, you have plus one to bonus to attacks and damage rolls with this piece of magical ammunition. Once it hits a target, the ammunition is no longer magical. Okay. That's a... So, I have to... Do you really want this? Oh, I'll see either that one or the walloping arrows. Um, do the walloping arrows... Uh, those, those ones... Uh, how, how much are those? Uh, 30 gold pieces. Let's see what else do. The creature said it must uh, succeed on a DC strength check or it's not prone. Uh, they're considered common. Yeah. yeah I, I guess they're pretty much the same as um, uh, green like arrows. Uh, four of those glove. instead of the plus one arrows. If they just turned to regular arrows afterwards, I don't think the uh, extra damage was, is worth the extra cost. Well, the wild blade ones aren't even magical. I if the, it doesn't say there's any restriction, but it's a DC 10, so it's not that high. So maybe five of them? How much two, gold was that? Uh, 30 gold. Uh, 30 gold each. So five of them would be 150 gold. Yeah, I can swing that. Add that Thank to you, your great one. Add that to your inventory. Right, so if you're using it, just let me know and the creature has to succeed on a DC 10 strength. Well, dragons would be like, oh, my knee! Just fall over. Should I get four of them or five of them? Tim on my toenail. <laughs> What's that? Did I ask for four of them or five of them? I don't remember. Five. I'll make it a five. If you want an arrow of slaying, it's only a thousand gold pieces each. Yeah, I suppose this town just has a uh, a trick arrow shop, you know. Okay. Uh, Zayna Talish has a uh, secret identity as a uh, crime a crime fighter. Yeah. Yeah, is there a big box and glove on any of these arrows? <laughs> there are now. Uh, do you think holy water would do anything I, against we are a possession? Yes, it's Simon. Um, he goes, uh, perhaps the ghost possessing him, but maybe not the possessed. Okay. Already? Uh, did you say you were going to the Lathander Shrine to pray? Anyone? I'm so. good. Yeah, mm. I, I think... Well, honestly, I think we're fine. But uh, I I do go to Marigold and ask how much it would be to get some holy water, just in case. See, sort of donation would be acceptable for some holy water. It's like yeah, uh, donations are in great need these days. He 
says, um, I can bless a, uh, a flask of holy water for you for uh, 25 gold pieces. <clears throat> let's get... Let's get two of those, just to be safe. I'll get, I will pay for them out of my own pocket. As he prepares the water, does the ritual. Actually, it takes him an hour or two to actually perform. Keeps giving Rook keeps giving you little glances. But he like quickly turns away as once he sees he's being uh, looked at. Is everything okay, Marigold? Oh, I'm sorry. Um It's just I know you ever since the attack, uh, you've been on edge about um, the ruled stone and mm. now you're going into um, into his lair well I mean if I find it it's fine if I don't well I mean it is what it is I was just, just for a uh, Put me at ease. Um, allow me to uh, allow me to give you a blessing. Thank you very much, Marigold. That I appreciate that greatly. I mean, I've grown quite fond of you, of all of you. Hmm. And um, what's the least I can do? And oh. uh, he very quickly dips his uh. His finger to the holy water. Places on your as you kneel down, he places on kneel way down because he's a halfling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he puts the finger to your forehead and utters a little prayer, and um, you can gain an inspiration point. And if you already have one, then you have two. Oh, damn, yeah, inspiration point. Thank you very much. I was going to say, you have two. You have two now, no, no matter what. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I got <laughs> D&D Beyond only lets me do one, but... Yeah. Breaking the rules. Uh, Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Here's the thing. Don't Joey. Let, don't let Wizards of the Coast know. Well, if they say anything, all you got to do is invoke rule zero. There are no rules. <laughs> DM's always right. I think. Uh, no, you can always trust the validity of how amazing a burrito is at a, a Mexican food joint if they use babies for scale when it comes to the size of their burritos. That's, That's rule true. zero? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, That's well, in this particular case is... No, the rule zero... Yeah, it's actually right. The rule zero is essentially the game master is always right. I like the taco what? thing better. <laughs> the burrito, burrito thing better? Yeah. Dang. Now I want, now I want a... Now I want a baby-sized burrito. Yeah, because I can get behind that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's go for burrito babies when, uh, uh or b baby burritos when we uh, get back. Good plan. Well, not 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 baby burritos, but baby-sized burritos. There is a very hey, distinct hey, difference. He, yes, 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 he yes. said what he said. <laughs> you pass as you pass by the town square, you see uh, the the baby burrito, the baby-sized burrito stand is got crushed by Evan Death, and you're like. Curse the dragon. No. Curse it. No. <laughs> Everything fiend. good in this world is just destroyed. <laughs> this fiend must die. People are lighting candles in front of the destroyed burrito shop. Okay. As Baruch is getting his blessing, we fade to the mayor of dead men. Insects just plague the area. They're they're biting at you. They're trying to suck your blood out, nipping at you. The 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 marsh is just like ankle deep, or like oh, nearly knee deep in spots. It just smells disgusting. Now, if it's knee deep, does that mean it's over my head? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you'd be carried. So. But eventually you get to the spot on the map 
And uh, you almost see what almost looks like an outhouse. Just in the middle of the swamp. Near this uh, large lake. And as you approach it, like, when you look inside, it it's like a, it's stairways leading down. Kind of like makeshift stairs. Like it was uh, constructed for, for fairly recently. Does um, Rudy smell anything off about the place? Rudy's nose, like, scrunches up as, she's, as he starts to sniff the area around. Like, there's something gnarly down there. Well, if Rudy he doesn't like the smell, something bad must be going on. Normally something does underneath an outhouse. <laughs> so this outhouse descends, you look down into darkness, at least 120 feet down the stairs. Uh... Who goes down first? Ah, uh, Mert goes down first. What? Yes. yes. Yes, not me. But that's an important question. What order do you go in? I got, I got second. I think me and I think me and Limit should go down first. Next. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see anything. Oh, there we are. Right I'll hold up the window. So, Lucilla's making her sneaky noises. Mm -hmm. Yep. The, the shaft descends into a work, work stone hallway. <laughs> One end of the hall has collapsed, and the other uh, terminates in a pair of giant ebony doors. A thin layer of mist swirls over the floor, and the air is unnaturally cold. As you step onto the flagstones, a voice from nowhere whispers, who is dead but cannot die the lord of bones whose embrace is patient but sure is it also the lord of bones lord of bones that, that would be Merkel, right correct and the door opens hey I didn't mean, know you were good at trivia, Maroot. I mean, he's a little stuck. I mean, it's that, or it was either that or Vecna. You mean Vecna from the hit show Stranger Things 4, streaming now on Netflix? Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not uh, sponsored, but please sponsor us? Stranger Things? Hashtag sponsored. <laughs> sponsored, <laughs> question mark. We'll even shill your burritos if you got them. <laughs> Only if they're as big as babies. Yep. We could use the little babies next to them. If we can use your burritos as improvised weapons. <laughs> I don't know about that, but when the door opens, it opens to a room full of enemies. Oh! Ah. Seems to be where Do several cultists and undead kind of like make their living area. And... The opening of the door is very obvious to them. As they all turn and raise their weapons or claws. And we roll for initiative. Oh, hey, maybe this will work. This should still work. Using Firefox now? Yeah. Or Chrome? Oh, well, yes, it does. <laughs> I critted. <laughs> that was all you had to do was just use Chrome. No, use fire. I, no, I switched to Firefox actually. Oh, so Chrome was what wasn't working. No, edge. just using Edge. You well, the weird okay. part is, like, I tried using Edge, but it didn't work fine for me. So I, I don't see him on the list, though. Are you kidding? Oh, are you kidding? That's awesome. No, he's at the top. Oh. Yeah, I use Edge too. It's um, it's nice well, to act as use a lot of memory. Whatever. 
Right, so you see number of undead. Undead, you say? Wait, I don't see me. You're at the very, very top. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't see you either. Uh, I, looking at, he goes, I don't see Maruk. Maruk Priest. Nope. I see Gas Gas Priest Zizix. Same. Same. Did you have it rolling? To, did you whisper the roll to the G? Nope, there it is right there. Uh, do we not have access to him? So I added this turn manually now, do you see him? At the very bottom? Uh, yes. It should be 24. <laughs> Dustin, what is, <laughs> what is with you in initiative? I can't win! I can't win! It's like he's like a different per like a different um like he rolled like a, a person that's invisible. I I don't know, let me Okay, now let me see. Whisper roll never whisper. Whisper roll No, it's just uh, weird, like you appeared on mine. But no one else's. Even yours. Never whisper, yeah. Okay. Alright, so you see no of undead, you recognize them as gas. Several robe figures, including one who is adorned in um, a very, a very nice skull motif. But Rook, you are up first. Okay. Um, let's see here. What can I do? Hmm. I am thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. No, I don't think it's the time for that, so I'm just so gonna you close the door. And just turn around. <laughs> uh that's not an option, friend. We have to these things have to go. So I, I just kinda step up here. And You know what? I'm just going to swing at it with my sword. Okay. And utterly fail. <laughs> yeah, 10 will... Let's make sure. Yep, don't miss. Roll it, and I'm going to try and hit him again. It's a 19 hit. 19 will hit. I'm going one-handed. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. So, but I'm I am holding it one-handed, so I have my shield up. So, yeah. it's seven. Seven. Fix that real quick. So it actually runs into the room. Attack eleven. Uh, 25. That'll hit. You take 17 slashing damage. And give me a DC... A, a constitution saving throw. 13, you're good. It's going to run up here. Attack Maruk. You know, with his claws... 22. Shield. Will that, will that miss? Yes. Okay. It'll match. No. Um, that still hits. Uh, you take 11 slashing damage. You give me a constitution saving throw. You do the math first. You're good. So each of these priests, as you came, they all out, they um, stretch out their hand and a spiritual weapon appears. It means to flow in the air, so 
basically every one of them will, will conjure this. And one goes towards Maruk for a 20. Miss. Okay, and another hand sends out a guiding bolt towards Maruk. Thirteen will miss. Yes, it will. Zizix. Alright, uh, Zizix is going to cast bark skin on himself which is concentration can you go ahead and put those on for me while i do the rest of my stuff okay <laughs> and then he is going to wild shape we're gonna try something new instead of trying to hold but actually excuse me then he is going to uh move to can I get through the door? I understand that I'll be passing this this guy, but can I get through the door? Yeah, you can zigzag your way through. Okay. So then he is going to move to here, which is going to be all of his movement. Um, and that's when we are going to wild shape into a fire elemental. I'm guessing 15 misses you. A 15 does miss me. Yep. And then that... So I've used 30 movement, but a fire elemental has 50 movement. Um, that was just minus what you already did. Probably. Right. So that so that means I get 20 left, right? Yep. Yeah, that's, what, that's how it works. Okay. So because of bark skin, I have a 16 instead of a 13 uh, AC on this guy. And I'm going to then move to... Ah, uh, that's three up. And now, then we're just... Yeah, just stay where you are. Okay, but I want to move around to burn people. Oh, but they're within five feet of me, so we'll be fine. Creature that touches the elemental or hits it while within five feet. Okay, I'm good. And then I have an action to uh, attack. We're going to attack this one. Okay. Actually, we're going to attack this one because he's within range of hitting Marut for a touch attack. So single hit. And so he takes uh, 14 fire damage and he ignites. And at the start of his turn, he'll continue to take fire damage unless he uh, does something about that. And the second attack is going to go on this one. For a 12? 12 will miss. Okay. A lot happening, so can't, can't win them all. And that is my turn. Bony guy. Extends one hand. And the fog in the room starts to gather around him. He starts motioning it like emotioning his hands, like controlling it. And the uh, fog slowly becomes green and putrid. And as he casts fifth level spell, uh, Cloud Kill. Uh -oh. That doesn't sound good. Let's take out the... Oh, you know what? I forgot about my... Well, I forgot to activate my shield, but it would have been a bonus action. Ah, whatever. Yeah, you did. So we're still at 16, but whatever. 16's still good. Pairs in this area right here. So, Cloud Kill might be not on the start of your turn. You have to do this. Okay. 
that's right here, but basically if you start a turn in this cloud, you have to do some rolls. Crab. Now what is that right would you say that is humanoid? Um for future reference. The only thing that there's humanoids in the back of the room, but the things attacking you are um, undead. Okay, but th this guy right here is humanoid. I think that's a tiefling. Who are you pointing to? The, the necromancer? Yeah, he's yeah. humanoid. Wait, All is right. he? Yeah, he's humanoid. Okay, I just uh, keep that in mind for later. Right. Let me see what comes up. One will take a spiritual weapon and attack the elemental 17. The elemental 17 will hit. Okay, you take 8 force damage. Uh, force damage, dang. Not resistant to that. Also, send a guiding bolt in your direction. 9 will miss. Yes, it will. These gas seem to be unaffected. By the poison. Take a bite out of lemon. 18. Miss. Oh, wait. Hold on. I was looking at the wrong one. Sorry. So, uh, just remember that anything within five feet of the. I believe the elemental has some. Yeah, it's this one right here. He's actually afraid of that elemental. He's gonna. She back away a little bit. Sleep. Um, what hit me for eight the, for the force damage? Was it a ranged attack or melee? It was melee. It okay, was a, it, he. It was a spiritual weapon, so it's kind of. Got it. Okay, magic. never mind. It's, it's magical. Yeah, I mean, it's I like mean, well, there. Well, that spiritual weapon is on fire now. Okay. <laughs> no, that's bad. I don't want that. Cancel that. <laughs> right, Selena. So, you know. so, um. From where I am, I'm, I'm in that sphere of uh, deadly mist, right? I would say you're just out of it. Just out of it? Yeah, let me actually move this. Right there, yeah. I see this, um, that shifty-looking necromancer in the back. There's definitely kind of too many things in your way here for you to get a clean shot. So I can't get a good clean shot of him, but I can get a clean shot of this guy that's in front of Maruk, right? Yep. Right, I'm going to uh, cast Hunter's Mark on him. And then I'm going to uh, shoot him with an arrow twice, and then Rudy... Oh, let's see how far Rudy is. 5, 10, 15... No, it's not far enough to do a charge. Oh yeah, this necromancer is concentrating on that spell, by the way. Sorry. Oh, so no, he's the one concentrating on the spell? The um the cloud, yeah. The uh, the um acid oh. cloud. Can I can I shift my Cunner's mark to that guy? Um If you want to, but there's too many things in your way to shoot at him. There's like three creatures at least. It, it's and some of them are enemies. So I'd roll, I'd roll at disadvantage, though, right? Or I, 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 I wouldn't be able to hit him at all. I rule it if there's an enemy in your way, then you can't fire past it. If it's an ally, then they'll they can step aside. Mm -hmm. Unless you're at a height advantage or something. Yeah, then I'll, I'll just. What? Well, I'm low, so I could shoot under their legs, can't I? <laughs> you can only hit the yes, gas. <laughs> Selena's not going to be able to get a height advantage. It's not. Unless you climb on top of Maruk. But then you'd be in the poison cloud, so I would. Are you firing at, guess... the, at the gas? Yeah, I'll fire at the gas twice. Hold on. 25 will hit. For 15. And 14 will hit. And I get uh, two D. Sixes. Nice. Damage. You and just, then um, you just one shot. 
I guess. He's dead? He's dead. All right. Uh, from this location, Rudy is going to charge the Necromancer. What's his um, uh, speed? He's going to be running past a bunch of people who are going to get an opportunity attacks on him. He might get shredded by the time he gets there. He can his speed is 40. He can disengage, I suppose. Not take any... But then he wouldn't be able to attack. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, he, won't, he won't make it. He's, he's, he can, he can he's charge. He can probably charge that guy. Rudy's going to charge the guy that's on fire. Give me a constitution saving throw for the for the um, animal. Joey, I just had a bad thought. I, I need you to confirm something for me. Okay. Is Cloud Kill flammable? Um, <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, thank <laughs> God. I just, I just had this, ho I just had the horrible thought. Now, um, it, uh, magically created uh, effects like, uh, um, like gas and so forth aren't aren't flammable. So forth aren't aren't flammable. I think. Oh. Okay. I have Sorry, an idea. I, I just. It, like how um na nowadays grease can't even be flammable. Okay. Um, Rudy takes twenty one acid damage. There's 21 fat splash damage? Um, poison damage, sorry. Uh, but a 13 okay. will hit that guy on fire. So it'll have a total of 10 hits. Because uh, the, the charge plus uh, d6. Do you have to run a straight line for a certain amount, or...? I think it's tw was it a 20? 20 feet. Yeah, he didn't run a straight line. He had to zigzag through through people. No, it, no, it goes... Oh, I thought they were allowed to move past people. Why not, sure. <laughs> All eyes. All right, Louis, he goes, give me const ooh. constitution saving throw. Plus three. Let's just make this deep bowl that was around. Yeah. God. And, and if that... Uh, okay, well, my fantastic rolls are happening, so... <laughs> I, uh, I don't expect to be doing a lot this fight. Alright. 19 acid damage or whatever the hell <laughs> it's gonna be? Oh no, he gets to roll again. Of course. It could be worse. Save 15. Poison damage. A lot of my strengths are not being accommodated for here, so... Um... Yeah. Yeah, so... I'm gonna hopscotch back this way. And, uh, shoot past the fire elemental and shoot this, uh... Shoot this source or the, uh, necromancer with my crossbow. Sure. Don't you, don't you have Eldritch Blast? It is not going to do anywhere near as much damage as True. my crossbow. <laughs> Nor will it reliably hit. Uh, like, well, hold on. 1d8 plus 3 versus 3d10s. Uh, also, uh, what is the to hit difference? Better. What's up? Uh, what's your bonus to hit uh, for, uh, for each one? It's the same. Oh, okay. 3d10 is much better. 3d10 is much better? Yeah. You're averaging 15 versus an average of 7. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah, you're probably right then. So hey, I majored uh, in math. It's, <laughs> but it's but it's also um, it is also I gotta spread it across three separate attacks. No. Oh. Yeah. So it's one d ten, one d ten, one d ten, and that's if they hit, if they hit, if they hit, versus one hit that does the the more reliable damage. If he was within 30, uh, 30 feet of me, I would but, have absolutely uh, which which bolted his shit. But, but on the other hand, he also has to roll concentration each time you hit him. Oh, oh, that's true. Okay, I mean, that, that does it. That yeah, that'll be it. Okay, so Lily Sula still unfamiliar really with how the spell works or why she can do it, but she reaches her hand out and as if to push something out of herself, she. Does first Eldritch Blast. That one hits. Second Eldritch Blast. That one hits. Third Eldritch Blast. Um, that one hits too. Wow, good for you. Alright, so she just like, do these just inky tendrils just. That means you right out of range. Four Constitution. Is he a war caster? Three. Three. This was three. Yeah, three. He better not be a war caster. <laughs> Having a freaking cloud of acid? Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to send anybody with character classes against us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes there's built into the. Yeah. 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 Thing. Well, he failed the first one. So <gasps> the cloud. Disappears. Man! I mean, I'm glad it did, but I. Well, I'm going to tell you now. I'm immune to poison. <laughs> no. I'm not. <laughs> I'm glad it's gone, but I was looking forward to being able to say that. <laughs> I was Rudy's looking, I was looking poison. forward to it because it was going to move into the, the the tunnel you're all riding. <laughs> yeah, but the cloud will dissipate. We weren't really going to do anything. Uh, well, it hurt It hurt Rudy and Lily Sula pretty bad, so... Yeah. It's only a taste of things to come, and good thing Lily Sula can shoot things out of her hands now. <laughs> and it was stinky. Claw attack to Maruf does a 24 hit. Uh, yeah. Take 13 slashing damage. It'll be a constitution saving throw. Plus three. Doesn't matter, I failed. Oh. Right now you can still get a ten. You succeed. No, what? Oh, okay. I mean, it is a crit one, so. Yeah, I'll do that. You want me to? I can't. No. Uh, crit fails only only are um, uh, failures only uh, work for attack rolls. All right. He's gonna. This is gonna take a bite out of you, a 10 or less. Right, 11. Um. Oh. Uh, can I do that thing where you, um. Uh. Or can, can I, uh, sneak past Rudy and, like, go over here? Or am I stuck behind everybody? Right here. Yeah, you can yeah. sneak past Rudy and. Okay. You get one attack of opportunity. Okay. Otherwise, I can't do anything. Yay. Uh oh. Uh, all right. Um. Yeah, may as well do this. Um. I am going to cast uh. Uh, spirit shroud, which uh, will basically add um, extra damage to uh, to my attacks as long as I have concentration for the next minute. Okay. But, um... We'll say Lemon when he enter the room. And Zizix do heard this too. You hear chanting coming from this direction behind a closed door. Okay. Well, that's not good. Uh, this is the 12 hit. Uh, 12 just misses. Okay. So... 
13 bludgeoning to the one on fire, as well as... Oh, sorry, gotta, it's on a different window. He's dead. Huh? He's dead. Oh, okay, never mind. Um... Okay, uh, well, I'm not going to cheat and try to claim the 12 didn't exist, so um, I will, uh, I guess, go over here, and uh, no, that'll be in their mind. I mean, would have missed the other guy anyway. Um, Bryce, did you roll concentration for that weapon hit, by the way? No, I did not. Okay. Sorry, give me a Plus second. three to it, by the way. Oh, and when it happened, he wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're good. I passed. Just imagine a fire elemental with a bark skin. It's like this demonic <laughs> looking tree. It's just on fire. It's now charcoal skin. <laughs> yeah. Right, spiritual weapon, orbs, lemon, 13 will miss. Then we'll shoot a guiding bolt at you. This may not be so bad. Um, take 26 radiant damage. Uh, luckily, I I am resistant yeah. to radiant, so... <laughs> I was gonna Let say, me... uh, so so you're hitting be... the lemon with radiance, okay. Oh, this was so, a good roll, this was a... So 13? Yeah. I rolled, it was a crit, so I rolled a 14 and a 12. Wow. Oh, wow. But, um... Okay, sorry. It does hit you, though, and you start to glow. More than you usually do. Yeah. Usually, <laughs> usually do. Sweet. But that means everyone can, everyone can see you. <laughs> Lily's still in the back of the corner. I can see you! <laughs> I'm ready for my spotlight. Spiritual weapon towards... Elemental will miss with the six. Fools. The guiding bolt, fifteen. Yes. And that guy needs to stop throwing guiding bolts. Oh, that's all of these guys are doing. Yeah, it. they're yeah. all doing it. Oh, the priests are. So spiritual weapon towards the elemental seven. Yeah, all of the nerds are, are readying their bean bags to throw at us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, root your turn. Guiding bolt. Guiding bolt. I'm just gonna hit this guy. I'm gonna hit this ghast in front of me. Wait. And I'm gonna crit oh. for I 17 damage. Give me a uh, constitutional saving throw first. Yeah, you're good. 18. Oh no, 15. It's stinky, but not that stinky. I've smelled worse. Takes 17 damage from that one. Okay. And as a bonus, I'm gonna I'm a bonus action firebolt. Can we determine that if you do magic by an enemy, it's disadvantage? Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I don't think I can roll lower than that, anyways. Yeah. Eight missiles. At first, you know, you you crit your um, initiative. Yep, you used up your twenty. Right, spiritual weapon towards lemon. At advantage. That's a miss. He's gonna guiding bolt you again. Or miss. Zizix is going to make a touch attack on the one that Marut hit. Oh, oh this, 14. this one started. Um... Oh, wait, it's an attack. Never mind. So, 14 hit that guy? Yeah. Alright, that is 8 fire damage. 
and he is on fire. Okay. Why do you make a constitution saving throw too? From what? Because you're next to this ghast. And it smells horrible. Is this uh for maintaining a spell? No, he just smells really bad. Okay. Sixteen. Oh, you're good. I'd be a nineteen, but that's true. All right. Uh, and if that guy is still alive, then I am going to make an attack on this other one for twenty-two. Ten fire damage, and both of those guys are ignited. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah, I hit. I hit this one and succeeded. Well, actually, did a fourteen hit? You said it did, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, so fourteen hit this guy for eight damage, and a twenty-two hit this guy for ten damage. And because because they got hit, they are on fire. Um, were you concentrating lemon when that guy in bull hit you? Um, what you was were. I con? What was I concentrating? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, all right. So it's pretty high. Let's uh, concentrate. Uh, um, oh, well, you have to. So I uh, have to get twelve or above. I is that a is that a saving throw or just raw twenty? No. Yeah. No. It's a it's, it's a constitution, constitution saving throw. Oh, good. Nice. Hey, okay, it doesn't matter either way. Good, Never yeah. mind. I still think, though, you would have only been rolling against a 10. Because it hit you for 24, you took 12, so your save would be either half of that or 10, whichever is highest. You're right. Yeah. You're right. It's half of the damage. But been moved, so. Yeah, but either way, you got it, even if it was full damage. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to make sure I got the plus 6 or not. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a cons uh yeah. Concentration is a constitution saving throw. Okay, just check. Necromancer wiggles his little fingers for his U11. And he has a ray of a moment. Thirteen will miss. What an enfeebled uh attack. Yep. <laughs> Got all this still out of here. Like, sh like next time he's thinking about uh, casting that acid, uh, that acid clap again. Right. She just looks at him and shakes her fist a little bit. Our <laughs> elemental will take seventeen radiant damage. Um, a seventeen attack roll. Who oh, say that? You are. You take seventeen radiant damage if if, if seventeen hits. Seventeen. Does hit and your fire somehow glows brighter. Okay, and here's my constitution plus three 17. So I'm good with that. I keep rolling a Zizix, so it should have been even plus one, so an 18. Um, and you said it was a total of 17 damage, is what I just took. Yeah, okay. ow. And Lemon, this one slashes at you for 27. You take 9 slashing damage. Oh my god! 27? No, yeah, the, the roll is 27. Yeah, no, that's what I meant. <laughs> the roll is 27. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's impressive. <laughs> that is. <laughs> and make a constitutional saving throw. You're good. Alright, Selena. Alright, Selena's going to use her arrow to hit this guy twice. The one near Rook. Yeah, that one. Uh, but she's moving the Hunter's Mark over to that guy, too. Okay. Uh, fire, does she get advantage on it? Negative. But 14 kills it. Yeah. So who are you going to hit with your second attack? That one's going to hit the uh, Necromancer in the way back. So it's still concentrating, apparently. Oh, there yeah, I still say I saw it. Well, five, so there'll be 19 damage. That's if the, the 19 hits it. Right. 
Alright, Luke, so let's... But no, I'm not done yet. Um, Rudy oh, has to go. Sorry, Rudy, yeah. yeah. Let me just map Rudy's Rudy, path Rudy, out right now. Rudy. He goes through me. Is he gonna catch on fire? Technically, no. Okay. Not if he is. Oh, so he's going yeah, that is just five feet out of range from where uh, from where I am. Well, there's another so gas I, I can't... by lemon. Yeah, there's another gas by lemon. Um, the gas is lemon. Yeah. Rudy is going to go up to the uh, other one on top that is on fire and uh, slash at that guy. Several miss. And Rudy's tail gets a little bit on fire. <laughs> Alright, so how much damage does it take at the beginning of his turn? Alright, at the beginning of his turn, he is going to take 1d10, 7. Which kills him. <laughs> Alright, Lemon, your turn. Well, you, 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 you lost me. Hold on. Oh wait, did I skip Lucille? Yeah, so, you skipped me because you did. We did Rudy's turn next, but it's because I the oh, thing yeah. disappeared. Then I hit the next one. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. That's okay. Hey, it's tradition at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, it is. I always skip Randy. Yeah. So my my movement is only thirty, and I'm starting to get comfortable enough to. Yeah. So I'm gonna run into the room with my thirty, and then uh, who's concentrating around here? Is it just Lemon? Yeah. That's me. Well, guess what? I am too. I'm uh, gonna... you, you attack Lemon. <laughs> I'm not gonna attack Lemon, but I am gonna shoot the hell out of this this uh, this uh, this guy here. My with my Eldritch blasts. So we're gonna first Eldritch blast, second Eldritch blast, third Eldritch blast. Okay, let me know what hits and what doesn't. Hey, all <laughs> hits. Oh. 20! 20 force! 20 damage. 20 damage. Pretty good. <laughs> yep, yep. Use the force. She's she's getting comfortable with it. She's starting to understand it a little bit. Beginner's luck. <sighs> Alright, so, and now go on with whatever it is used, whatever it is used, because my, my turns are always fast. <laughs> and ju just be careful uh, uh, with, uh, with using it, though. It, you shouldn't force yourself. <laughs> that joke was a little forced. Love it, your friend. Okay. Those are my attacks. 14 hit. Yep. Alright. First one 15 damage. And from the spell that I've got on. Uh, does and uh, come on, do something. Uh, does an extra one d eight uh, radiant damage. Dead. All right, and uh, now can start picking these nerds off. <laughs> else, yeah. Well, I'll leave the big guy to uh, to the elemental. I'll go for these guys and. Uh, I'll hit the uh, one just to my right uh, with the 19. Oh, that definitely hits. Uh, 15 damage and uh, a uh, and one radiant. Okay. Oh, one radiant. They're looking, this one's looking bloody already. That's it. Spiritual weapon, 12, a miss. Then she'll just take out a normal mace, 8 will miss. This one's gonna do the same thing. Okay, 
Okay, sorry, that, this one's gonna pass. Still do the same attack roll, so 12 will miss the elemental, but I'll still do a guiding bolt. Uh, yeah, you've got advantage. Well, you've got advantage on an attack roll, yeah. right? So the next cast roll, I did do guy. Um, well, special weapon still hit uh, 11, but you're right. Attack roll. 12 miss. Now it will. What what hit me? Nothing hit you. Oh, okay. But this one's gonna attack again. A spiritual weapon. Take two force damage level. Oh no. Whatever will you do? And a nineteen. Uh nineteen matches. You take four more bludgeon damage. Uh, don't forget to roll concentration. And yeah, roll concentration. Twice. Oh no. You fail. Whatever is going on with your hammer disappears. Yep. Essentially, anytime he hits something, just like annoyed annoyed spirits or or, uh, or just uh, something uh, ended up just. Uh, oh, you already got rid of it. Uh, just. I also lashed out as well. But no more. Spiritual weapon to the elemental 18. 18 is going to unfortunately hit. Take six force damage. All right, and here is my uh, constitution. Okay, good. I gotta stop rolling a zizix. Okay, and uh, you said six or eight. I wasn't listening. Six. Okay. Okay. All right. Those in the room, the chanting is growing louder in the room to your north. On the northeast side of the of this room. And we need to be making our way north, and Maruk recognizes that. So he Okay. So he moves up to here and hits this guy with his sword. You got it, Maruk. Or does he? Oh he's got it. Hope yeah, he I hope he doesn't miss these guys. <laughs> Seven. I wish this guy was a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Are they dragons? No. <laughs> I cosplay as one. <laughs> I am on the weekends. And as a bonus action, he is actually going to extend. Now. Bonus action. Do I really want to do that? Not right now. No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it's a kind of thing. Actually, you know what? He has an idea. No, oh no, can I do that though? The counters in that? No, no, no. Um, you know what? That'll be it. Spiritual weapons 11. 21 will hit. Yep. Take 9 force damage. And then an additional 1 bludgeoning damage from their mace. But you roll 2 constitution saving throws. Uh, I don't have concentration oh, anymore. Oh, we'll do it anyway. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, uh, okay. I'm going to do something here. Um, I'm going to first move into this guy's space. Uh, and how far did I move? I need to keep track of this. That was 15 uh, feet. I hate to say this, but we need to go up. Well, we can't just leave these guys behind us because they'll just be shooting stuff at our back. Um... So first thing he's going to do is take six fire damage and catch on fire. And mm -hmm. just automatically. Yeah. yeah. The when the first time I enter a creature's space on a turn. Um, and then I'm going to try to grapple him. 
So how do I do that? Roll an attack. Um, or like grapple? No, grapple. No, no, grapple is. Will that be strength. Oh, so, oh, yeah, that would be an opposed strength contest. Yeah. Shoot. Okay, I didn't know that. I only have a plus zero strength, but that's what I want to do. I rolled a seven. An elemental only has a one strength. <laughs> zero a strength. Zero strength. Yeah. Well, so does this one. Somehow, you know, reach inside yourself and grab her. Grab him. Okay. Well, then that didn't work as well as I want because I wanted to take him with me, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to do the second part of my plan anyway. Potentially. Honest, honestly, I don't think you can grapple something inside of you. <laughs> well, I, was, I have hands, kind of. <laughs> okay, either way, uh, so then I am then going to move to here, which I understand is probably going to incur an opportunity attack. Well. Let's resolve that first. Well, it's too busy being on fire. Wonderful. Uh, and then that's going to catch uh, these two on fire as well. Um, I'll roll separately. We'll roll for Priest, then Necro. So many people on fire. It's it's like uh, Zeoda is here. Three and seven. And um, since I used my action to try to grapple, I don't have any more attack, but that's a lot of fire. Yep. Okay. That is my turn. Do they take damage on their turn too? They do. Unless someone takes an action to douse the fire, they take extra fire damage at the start of each of their turns. Okay. Is it is it that necromancer guy's turn next? Yeah, he kind of steps out of you. Um, he takes 10 damage. Ah. And can you put an action put it up? It, uh, some, he can... It, it says, uh... If you start your turn while on fire, so he he can take an action to put it out now, but he's still taking the damage because yeah, he started his turn. Yeah, I'm gotten. Nope, has room stones. Hey, dude. Good night. I guess that's his turn. So they're gonna do the same thing. Well, for that, uh, someone else roll. You just ruined it. He'll never charge now. Six. Six, okay. Uh, just go down one, uh, one and, uh, ram the necromancer. Oh, trust. Well, now I can multi. Oh, yeah. I can still do it with the movement. Yep. Okay. I, meant, I meant Rudy. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. I gotta keep him on fire. Just a moment, let me check something out. Alright, so uh, from where she is, Selena is going to uh, cast... Oh, no, she's, she's going to shoot the Necromancer twice. Who's going to move down and charge at the um, Necromancer. I just remember the movement speed was 40, not 20. Yeah, it'd be difficult to charge if it requires absolutely all of your movement speed. How do you kill the Snickermancer? Killed it with the first shot. So the... The Necromancer gets shot, uh... Like, right in the throat. Like, uh... So it'll, it'll never be able to speak another foul word ever again. If, or if it gets, oh no, if it gets resurrected, its voice box is going to be uh, completely damaged, so it won't be able to speak. That's that's where the the killing arrow goes. I put this one on fire. That was on fire. So you cast silence on him. Oh, wait, they put on fire. Sorry. Oh, that one was on fire. That yeah, one down there. Put it out though. Was he? Uh, yeah, he was on fire. Then he used so his action to put it out. The second arrow. The second arrow will go to. Uh, has to be that one because I can't see the other guy. I don't. I don't think I can. I'll take ten. Uh, you can use your movement me, in between um, attacks. My DC one, DC six. Because automatically, a bonus action shift the hunter's mark over to him. 
He gets 16 damage. And then Rudy is, let's see here. Uh, the one across from Lelisula. Rudy's going to backtrack a little bit, and then he's going to charge at this guy. Boom. And he's going to go right, right at him. And he's going to maul him and charge him. He's going to get this damage. Right. And he doesn't attack. He, he, he misses again. Yep. Never mind. Yeah. Time to murder. A lot of people that don't have allies next to them. Mm -hmm. I'd say there's that. There's just that one that's directly in front of you who cannot, who is not surrounded by anyone. Yep, he is getting it. <sighs> uh, okay, cool. First attack. Oh, damn it. Okay, it hits. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh, darn. Only oh, a 28. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, there's the damage. Sorry. How do you casually murder this person? <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, basically just casually murdering them, I guess. <laughs> Walk up, up and go. Sneak up behind, just hit, hit the suit spot. You just, just saunter on up and just... And then dead, you, and then... You, you just casually walk towards him. He presses back against the wall in a panic. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to step up to this guy here. And I'm going to use my second attack on him. So... There we go. <laughs> that Not nice. nearly as... Oh, wow. <laughs> shing, shing. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. Nice skip. job, Lucilla. And then she does a little... A little, uh... A little curtsy. <laughs> a flourish. <laughs> Alright. Lemon. Both those will hit. I hope so. Uh, 16 and 15. Uh, if the first one kills it, you know, the other goes to the one south. Yeah. Oh, nice. Did it require both hits? Oh, um, no, sorry. Okay. No, the, it's in the 15 goes to the one to my southeast. Yes. I keep forgetting you can't see the health bars. Okay. This one will retaliate. In her own way. Spiritual weapon will miss. Her mace will miss. If they start within five feet of the elemental, they take damage? Uh, no. They have to either have me move into their space or attack me with a melee attack. It's a 20 hit Maruk. Shield? Okay, you don't take four whole damage. Also, when that shield happens, time kind of slows down. Oh no. And things get... And, and this weird light comes over Maruk. Ladies and gentlemen, we're rolling on the big boy table. The bump table. No, this is the let's not low roll low table. 75! Oh, 75. All right. That's See what 75 does. That's the first one. Oh. 75. Fireball. Alright. Um I gl I now, within a 30-foot radius of me, um, I glow- I am now glowing with a 30-foot radius. Um, a lot of people glowing here. W would that be sunlight, by any chance? Yeah, very bright light. Um, any creature that ends its turn within five feet of me is blinded until the end of its next turn. How long does it last? Forever. A minute? Um, 
It does not. That is. It is not listing a time. Hold on. Uh, for the next minute. Okay. For the next minute, I am glowing with radiant sunlight. That happened last time too. I know. Oh. Well. Yeah. It's like I shield and it's like flom the lights come on. <laughs> it's uh, your turn, actually. That, were you actually gonna do anything? Yeah, I was gonna That was a reaction. So, 10 will miss. I imagine you're blinded too. Oh. Are you? I don't think so. Huh. No, you just admit the light. Yeah. No, I'm just admitting. <laughs> oh, so you do admit it. Also, now people get. Also, that was a reckless attack, so. <laughs> because, you know, that. I'll just go the second attack while I'm at. Well, I'm getting that figured out. 14 hit. Full hit. For 10 damage, this guy. Uh, dead. Okay. I think we're still on in initiative. I move, I use my movement to... You do get advantages against, um, against blinded opponents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I move to this door. That's, that's a 10 feet of movement. And then I use my object, object interaction to open the door. Opening doors while in combat? What is this? Is such a thing even possible? Foolishness. Okay. So you see what appears to be a barracks, um, but you see a large skull pattern um, carved into the floor, several hooded and masked figures doing a chant around the skull in the, in the ground. They seem unaffected by your sunlight, <laughs> being blinded. Oh, I'm not done. I'm not done moving yet. Okay. I'm gonna move, move right here, and that's gonna be my turn. Well, they could be chanting nice things. Did you listen? Yeah. Uh, no, no one's listening. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Uh, you can I you freely can listen? I, I guess you can't see right now. Okay. Oh, shoot. Because he's emitting the light. I'm emitting bright light, too. Yeah, but <laughs> you're, you're, as long as you're... It, they have to end their turn within five feet of me. In order to get blinded? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so my turn hadn't ended while he his effect was active. It's kind of weird, but but uh, it, it's it does seem really weird that when it you know sparked up, I didn't go blind. Yeah, so I guess you can see now. Okay, okay, interesting. But you're a fire. Well, I'm made of bright. It's a different bright. Okay, I am going to move into here. I'm going to move to there. <laughs> And I'm going to listen to see what they're saying as long as that's not in action. <laughs> you speak Latin. I don't. I only speak Ignan in this form. <laughs> Latin's a thing in this world? Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's, some kind, it's like infernal, some kind of infernal language. Okay, that's never good. And I see a skull on the ground. Oh, it's infernal, you said? Yeah. Oh. Do you speak infernal? No, I speak abyssal. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Alright, uh, the one above me is going to get an attack made on him. A touch attack for 19. That'll probably definitely hit. <laughs> if it does, he is going to take 8 fire damage and be on fire. And then I'm going to attack the one to my left for a 21, which I assume also hits. He is taking 9 fire damage and is on fire. <laughs> Are you sure they don't have to roll up the fire? I'll pay- I'm gonna paste it! Okay. <laughs> Both on fire. They continue to chant, though. Yeah. They just can, they're just on fire and taking damage. The, the thing, you know, if they have a high HP and don't get hit, then they don't get on fire. They only get on fire if they get hit. Well, that's the attack. What about the one where you just walk on top of them? That, they don't get a choice. But now, so, um, you can't see. He's not within five feet of me. Oh, just within five feet? It's just five feet. Oh, I thought it was that... You said a 20-foot radius, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, the light goes okay, 30 feet. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> the light goes 30 feet, but, if, okay. but it's so bright that if you're within five feet of me, it's yeah, like staring yeah. into the sun. I got you. And that does explain the confusion. But you are so, emitting um, a 20 foot radius light, basically, now. 30 foot, actually. 30 foot, okay. So, you know, you're... so it's. Does interact with the object like, uh, count as my action? Can I interact with an object and then do an action? I mean, I, what is it? I was going to use my movement to get up here to open the door. Okay. And then if there's anything bad behind the door, I was going to shoot in the face. Uh, sure. You get one free object interaction per turn. Yeah. So yeah, she uh, she dramatically kicks the door open. Make sure all these are locked on the bear. You see a hallway. Ah, shoot it! <laughs> you fire an arrow into the door. I attack the door. Here, um, <laughs> she uh, fires two shots at this guy. Okay. Uh, but she moves her hunter's mark to that guy too, uh, as a bonus action. Let's forget about Lemon down there. Um. Uh, Lem Lemon's friendly. You can I go right past him, right? Yeah. So shoots it for t twice with the uh, longbow. Uh, both of those will hit. Just enough to kill it. All right. So the the last bow, uh, last are like pins it, uh, pins their head to the wall. So we. Are we still technically in combat? Yeah, you're in combat. You're, you're next to two enemies. Wait, not done yet. So, so uh, Rudy um, gets over here and he charges at the door to try to, to push open the uh, the door down there. It's already open. Oh, down there. I would say... Uh, I, I would, would say I'd, an animal can't. I would tell you right now, it'd probably be best if we... Oh, it's too late now, but... Probably been best. We need to stop whatever this is up here. So they're summoning something. All right. So I guess Rudy moves to the side and then like charges at the guy that's on fire. Um. See, I'm that's, okay. Whatever. All right. Seventeen hits. This is a charge. It was three extra damage. Oh, well, 13. Yeah, but Rudy is blinded. Yep. It was well worth the risk. Alright, Lisa. <laughs> Randy? You there already? Oh. Yeah, sorry, my bring us no worries we decided we decided not to skip you this yeah. time 
<laughs> that's not used. This, 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 this is thanks for you. I know, I know. Uh, so wow, okay, we have things unlocked. Uh, what's what's going on here with these cultists? Are they? They are. They are, are they chanting ch and ignoring the fact that they are on fire. Do you know who doesn't like cultists? Lily Sula doesn't like cultists. <laughs> hmm. They're not really putting up a fight, are they? You're not. Well, it seems like the, the Root crew up there have it handled. I'm gonna trot on down to where Lemon is. And we're gonna try to open this door down here. Here, let's go. Add one call to the uh, initiative so we know. <laughs> yep. Can't be a top, top of the train, basically. Hit that one more time. Is uh, Louis still not attacking? Uh, apparently opening the door down here. There she is. Okay. There's nothing behind. I hope there's nothing hostile behind that door. The darkness is seeping in. <laughs> Seems to be, we used to be a wine cellar. And there were a bunch of greater zombies behind the store, but I didn't want to bog down no, okay. combat. <laughs> so there was nothing behind there. Except delicious wine. Any mushroom wine? Only. If only. Mm -hmm. That'll be it. Sorry, I'm making things here. There we go. Hey, eleven. Uh, well, at least our flank is safe. Um, let's see. All right. Um, I cannot get in. Uh, well, I went. Uh, I wonder if I can really, really annoy them. I bet you can. Oh, you mean your character. The yes. game. Sorry. Oh, no, I, I, I know I can outside. Now, um... Long... No, I don't want to waste the spell slot. Okay, um, I'm just going to, uh, to dash, um, uh, gets up to here, and I will, let's see, uh, uh, 10, I'll, just, I'll get to there. Very carefully sneak past the fire elemental. Oh, they're, they're like uh, they're like explosions. If you if you walk away from them without looking back, then uh, then you're unharmed. Yeah, cool guys don't look at explosions. So the right, cultist right. Um, chanting reaches a crescendo, and one by one, they just crumple to the floor as the Symbol in the middle of the room. As what? the symbol in the middle of the room begins to um, glow, and the cultists fall to the ground. It's the top of the, the round us, and that's why it's happening. Can I do one last thing as that's happening? So they were able to, able to chant. Uh, oh, oh wait, never mind. Yeah, he said that they were they ignored being on fire. Yep. It's okay. There's a thing we just need to kill. That's all. Yeah. And a bony hand reaches in through the ground as a bone devil appears in front of you. Oh, it's a bone devil! Bone devil. I've never heard of that. Kind of reaches in, pulls himself up, and he rolls initiative. What's going bad? 
Perfect. Okay. Sorry, Dustin, I didn't mean to skip the, you know, the late turn, but it is the top of the round. No, no, he already took his turn. Oh, no, he... I haven't. We're, we, we've come back around. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. So okay, sometimes yeah, yeah. things happen at the top of rounds, uh, like litter actions or predetermined yeah. things like this. So, but now it is your turn. Okay. Uh, I just start. You know what? Feeling mad, he just goes into a rage. All right. And as he does that, then, um, and he just kind of disappears and reappears on the other side of the bone devil. So basically, I get to teleport up to 30 feet as a bonus action. Hmm. While this is going on, right. I'm just like a teleporting ball of sunshine. And this. I know, I know, I know. And, and I'm just going to attack it with my long sword. Uh, 14. Oh. Uh, 21 will hit, I'm guessing, maybe? 21 will hit. With 14 damage. And um, 10 damage. And that's my turn. Alright. Zizix is gonna... Attack it for a seventeen. Seventeen will miss. All right, he's gonna then and take a movement to get all up in it and set it on fire using his fire for movement and attack again for an eight, which will miss if seventeen did. But he's on fire nonetheless because I entered his space. So as you enter its space, you notice that none of the the fire like is taking to his to his body. He is unaffected by it. All right, he's immune to my my fire charms. Mm -hmm. Well, all right then. Had to pick a monster that. <laughs> I, I think I think you changed what was being summoned. <laughs> uh, you cooked him to his bone. It was a it was a water devil. <laughs> or a, a dirt devil. I don't know. Yeah. Selena, your turn. Let's let's see here. Would you also would you say? Oh, it's not the bone devil's turn yet, is it? Okay. I'm gonna move out, like as far as I can away from this bone devil right over here. And uh, with my bone arrow, I'm actually gonna switch my uh, hunter's mark to this guy too. And then I'm gonna shoot him twice with my bone arrow. Yeah. Fourteen will miss. I use my uh, luck to uh, roll again. Nineteen. All right. I didn't roll for roll for damage. I just rolled regular D twenty, D nineteen, D twenty. Here, I'll do the five damage. All right, and then I'll roll again. You know you do in short support instead of long boat. I'll do another luck luck attack. 
Yeah, you are doing the wrong attack, so you know. Oh, it's not shooting his short sword, damn it. It's part of the same, right, though? Plus eight. No, oh, my, um... They wouldn't miss it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Wasn't paying attention and grabbed a short sword rather than an arrow and just notched it into the bow. <laughs> those those would have been these. Plus 11 with my longbow. Uh, you, you still would have missed. So, yeah, the. So, I can use the 10 damage for the first. Yes, 10 damage already for the first one. Yeah, so next yeah, Rudy yeah, is I'll going do to. Yeah, that since it's different damage type. So Rudy's gonna back up a little bit, and then he's gonna charge at. <laughs> he's gonna charge at the uh, the bone map bone monster. Uh, Rudy is blinded, by the way. He is blinded, so he does a disadvantage. But since he's not within five feet of me, at the end of his turn, I believe he loses the uh, blind. Man, a bunch of critical ones for Rudy. Yay. Rudy fails miserably. He doesn't get to eat the delicious pile of bones. Yeah, you'd think he'd have advantage wanting mm. those bones. <laughs> the bone seeker. Right, he's going to do two claw attacks against the elemental. It's a 19 hit. Z Zizek says it, a 19 hit elemental. Oh, it, it does. Okay. I thought you said bone elemental. It takes 15 slashing damage. Alright. Let me give you... Oh, sorry. not It's plus 3 anyways. So, uh, 19... So I'm good, and 17, you said? Uh, 15. Okay. Well, 5 slashing and then, then 10 slashing. Gotcha. I Okay, so slashing I am resistant to. Oh, really? But I am, yeah, I'm actually as resistant to all physical. Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Wait, from non-magical. Does he have magical claws? He probably would have said if he does, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm taking eight from that, and let me give you another con save. Nice. Do I still rock my bark skin? I guess usually it does say if they have um, magical attacks. It doesn't say this. Okay. But as he's attacking the elemental, his um, he has his like scorpion-like tail on the uh, on the trying to attack Rook. Right, twenty-five. That hits. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You take 13 piercing damage. Mm. Uh, do, do, I, do, I, do I get a resistance to that? Yes, you're a barbarian. Usually when I say after resistance, and then I say the resistance number. Okay, so it's 13. Damage. No, that's you are correct. That's before. Right, so yeah. six. Six. Then you take fourteen poison as the singer goes into your shoulder. It only makes no, const you. Constitution saving throw. I don't get advantage on Constitution saving throws. I think on this in this case, I don't think I do. 24. Okay, you're good. So you took 6 piercing and then 14 poison. Alright. Oh, that stings a bit. You will go around this corner so you can't attack him. Opportunity. I can attack him too. Is it That's what I said. Oh. Oh, 11 too, I guess. Actually, it, yeah. Uh, wait, what? What was that? He oh, moved, oh, he, he, moved out, he moved out of your opportunity. 23 for 14 damage. No! Oh, 
I thought it was a damage one. Fourteen. He's wanting to get away, away from that light, but it could be his downfall. Alright, Lucilla. I'm gonna dash. Oh, did you get bonus action dash, or is that just bonus action disengage? Uh, let me look. I think. I think you can choose to dash as a bonus action. Maybe uh, that's not till later. I don't know. Yeah, but it's it's uh, at the end of each okay. of my turns. And so. Uh, but that, yeah, but that's all I'll I'll be able to do right now. Okay. Eleven. one of them since uh i thought you were said uh, you mentioned my name i thought i got any uh attack of opportunity but no uh, that wouldn't have happened oh uh, you did that's why you attacked earlier <laughs> but now, now it's your turn i will attack using siri yeah <laughs> uh, uh 10 doesn't hit um yeah. Uh, do we use the first one, though? Um, wasn't that your attack of opportunity? Uh, I, yeah. I wasn't sure if I got one or not. Uh, yeah, you, I, you did. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. Ran past. Okay. Alright, so one more attack. Oh, and uh, uh, I will also uh, cast... Did we uh, get an attack of opportunity? No. Uh, you, you were you were blinded, so you wouldn't have been able. To, uh, that negates your ability to uh, do them. Um, He's not blinded anymore. That's it. Oh, okay. Shouldn't be. Well, probably to the start of his next turn. Yeah. Okay. I'm also going to use branding smite. So, uh, four radiant, uh, fifteen bludgeoning. It's only existed for 10 seconds and it's already looking bloody. Bleed him from the bones. <laughs> Alright, Maruk is just gonna kind of work his way around to the to yeah, the bone like demon. I squeeze against the wall to give him room to pass by. And then I'm just gonna hit it with my Nineteen. We'll hit. For nine. Oh, plus you could, like teleport, can you? Oh yeah, I could. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that as my bonus action, so I'm not blinding everybody. Sure. Yeah. As my bonus action, I'm just gonna boop over back over to this corner. Okay, so that's ten damage. It seems like you know your attacks don't hurt this thing. Uh, okay. Um, it's, it's all fire damage, right? Yeah, it is all fire damage. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> um, I want to try to... So it's just immune to fire. It's not, a, it's not that it can't light on fire. It just doesn't take fire it damage. It doesn't take fire damage, yeah. It's probably on fire right now, so that's not hurting him. I'm, I... In that case, I am going to <laughs> do something real dumb and going to be useless and take the shove action. I am going to try to knock this thing prone by pushing it to the ground. Double versus elemental. <laughs> Strength contest. I rolled a I rolled a nine. I rolled a twenty-three. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> um I am still going to kind of stay here. I'm gonna move uh 
over, not that far, not in the wall. I'm going to move over to make any room that someone might want to get up here. Um, and I'm still going to be here to distract it and keep it in place. Okay. Because I am still tanky. And that is, that is my turn. Selena. All right. So from this location, can I get a good shot at Mr. Boney? From that one, sure. Yeah. So I'm going to shoot it twice. With, I'm going to shoot it twice with my uh, longbow. It's a hit. It's a thirty. So, and four additional damage on top of those things, and then he's gonna maul him. <laughs> kind of imagine this this mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't roll a one, but that was a miss. Nuts. This thing is this thing's chunky. He's looking very hurt though now. He's gonna attack elemental twice. This is 18 hit. 18 does hit. Okay, so again, same as before 10 slashing, then 5 slashing. Okay, so I'm gonna take 8 and I'll give you the two rolls. Uh oh! Oh, look at that! Wow. Yeah. Where's your warcaster yeah. now? <laughs> Alright, so I no longer have. 16 um and now I'm down to 13 okay, and a 12 will miss lemon. 12 will now a lemon as Stinger tries to sting him but Lucilla this thing's almost dead alright she cracks her knuckles and uh tries this thing again because she's starting to get some good practice out of it and she's uh, gonna hurl a, a volley of uh, Eldritch Blast to this thing. She's... These things seem more more um, more tough than the cultists were though. Okay, well then if that's the case then she's just gonna she's gonna sprint up and instead of using Eldritch Blast she's gonna cascade over here and she's gonna sh stab the hell out of this thing. <laughs> Thank you for the insight, by the way. Well, I mean, First 13, attack. 13 no, no. the other one. Now, Maruk was the one that got the insight. Yeah. 18 will miss. Second attack. Oh, come on. 15 will miss. Uh, of course. All right. Failed me this time, dice. Uh, might want to move out of the way so oh. someone else... I am a rogue, Dustin. Of course yeah. I'm going to move out of the way. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> it's getting a bit crowded over there. Hey, it's All right. that's what happens. Yep. Let's kick this bone doubles. <laughs> That'll end my turn, though. Alright, love it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to bash away at the bones. Remember you guys had that uh, weapon... Uh, yeah, I've got the bone counter I could use. Yeah, the bone use. counter. Yeah. If, if you kill it, you get a silver. Does it do extra damage against... No, uh, no it does less, actually. Uh, <laughs> I, it gives me an, it gives me a plus one to what my my maul does, but it does half damage. Yeah, it's just a one-handed... Uh... Uh, miss, miss. Oh, darn. Let me... I'll be right back. Okay. Mark uh, walks up and just starts hitting it with the sword. Uh, there you go. How do you want to kill him? I just start. I, I essentially, I, the first hit hacks off his leg, and then since, when it bends down, I chop off its head. It. 
he just starts laughing as as you do. And his giggling head just rolls across the floor right into Ruby's paws. He's excited. And Foolish I, mortals! I pop back over here so I don't blind anyone again. Eventually, Bye, Murray. that light will fade away as combat ends. Okay. Things first. Uh, Selena wants to rush back down to the uh, wine cellar and see if there's any hidden passageways. Give me a um, investigation check. Right. Oh. oh, that's not the right. That's not the right thing. You notice that um, part of the wall, there does seem to be a part that opens. And you I'm see a torch by, like right next to it, and you give the torch a little twist. Sometimes the classics, man. Sometimes. Right, so uh, for the for the torch thing, uh, uh, Selena summons Rudy over so she can stand on Rudy's back to pull the torch. Uh, or I, I just walk over and pick Selena up. I don't need no help from no man. Yeah, just use Rudy. <laughs> okay. Well, uh... I could have just opened it myself, but I figured you wanted to open it. Hey, did you roll the investigation? Yeah, you, yeah. Didn't, you didn't look for the you're, thing. You're in the other room. I walk down as... No, you're still in the other room. Okay. Rudy and Selena's on their own. Well, we hear a sound of a door opening, so we head down to see what's going on. You see the door already open. <laughs> no trace of elephant hands on anything. <laughs> Time, time, me. Touchy. Sorry about okay, that. then what's in the... Well, I follow them into... I, I go into the door first, since it's open. And see what's inside. Booby traps. Booby traps everywhere. <laughs> see a hallway. Hallway of doom! Shit's about to go sideways. Gentlemen, I think we might want to gather up. And ladies. And Rudy. Rudy goes, Wah. All right. Um. Uh. And that looks like a hallway down. It looks like a turn right here. So I'm going to go up to the edge here and kind of peek my head around, see if there's anything around the edge. Joey, you know, I um, can heal myself using spell slots. So I'm going to spend some spell slots for some healing okay. while all this is happening. I see another doorway leading to the east. So why don't you go check and see investigate the door see if you hear or see anything on the other side of it you're the sneaky one while she uh, does that well, you I asked yeah. you to go investigate the door since you're all sneaky like Hmm. Okay. <laughs> she trots on over. All right. All right. Give me a stealth. A, a stealth check as you open the door. You've got to be. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> Why is it red? Because I rolled a one. <laughs> but he still has 21. But I have so. I have reliable talent though, so anything less than 10 is a 
is a 10. So. Okay. I've never seen anyone roll a 1 and yield a 21. Uh, you haven't <laughs> played, you haven't played with any rogues. Okay. So even when I'm bad at it, I'm still good at it. <laughs> Imagine if this rogue was a politician, no one would always on the podium until they started speaking. Even then, they'd have a hard time finding him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. See, so open the door. See another long hallway. And through it. You see kind of a, a chamber that's just littered with bones on the floor. And standing there, you see the Priest of Merkel of Mort Mortus standing among the um, the bones. And he's looking directly at you. He got a 21. Well, yeah, but he's looking at the door. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, were you peeking? Yeah. Okay. He doesn't see you. Hmm. Anything? I say softly. Trots back. <laughs> Hallway. There's a guy there. <laughs> Did There's he see it? Pop too. We could try to check out that one. Maybe we could... No, uh... Like, Do you know... Do you recognize the guy? I, I mean, I don't want to sound racist, but all gaunt humans look the same to me. You would have recognized wow. him from the, the Battle of the Hilltop. <laughs> oh. Or it just kind of starts nodding and goes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, is that who that was? He was on the Hilltop Battle? Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. And I'm sorry, I would have said that instead, instead of acting like a racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make sure he doesn't see you. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's he's the one they threw the t uh, um that the, uh, the yeah, tower was yeah, thrown top we, of. We dropped. Yeah, yeah. The very first. Is, is a stealth was or um investigation or perception is that wisdom or intelligence? Wisdom. Okay. I'm perception sorry. is wisdom. He does see you when you open the door. Oh. Okay. Hi. I mean. It <laughs> I mean, he doesn't necessarily like address you, but he sees the door peek open. Okay, and he sees somebody he recognizes. No, he just sees the door slightly open. Drafty old place. I am the door that is creaking. <laughs> you so, see, he uh... starts walking towards the door mm. I'm going to wait for him to get to the door and when he opens it I'm going to attack him immediately <laughs> like I'm basically sprung like a cat like I'm like I'm wound like a coil and then uh, do I yeah. do I notice if she's about if she's doing something that... well I mean if you peek around the corner you're going to see that I'm getting ready to, to totally pounce on somebody so take that what you will <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Or gets ready to. Besides, when I, you know, if this guy's got more than however much damage and health that I'm going to do to him, uh, I can always uh, retreat and you guys can run in front of me. So he starts walking. From behind him, see a huge lumbering figure in armor turn mm. the corner, start to approach. Hmm. You don't look that huge. <laughs> you mean, see his mouth, his uh, his mouth moves as he gestures towards the door. The big lumbering figure in armor. Um, okay. Lily Sula is going to try to gesture to try to beckon someone to get closer to her to back up when the door opens. I get, I uh. Take I go to the other side of the door, I guess. That's on the air, yes. Yeah. And I ready an attack. 
Okay. He kicks open the door. He sees... An army. <laughs> an army, basically. Um, you all ready to action, so give me a attack. He's all... He made the mistake of going to that door alone. <laughs> Six will hit. Seventeen will miss. Shit! Come on, dice. Hold on a second. <laughs> They're off range. I can't reach. So that's, not, that's nine damage. By the way, it's okay. Do I get both of my attacks, or is it just the one? This is if it's a just yeah. one. Don't worry, son. Um. But more twos. Oh, he should do that at advantage. Or... Hmm? I don't know. I haven't. Never mind. Yeah, getting uh, advantage is weird for me, dude. I don't know. I'm not. I'm never 100 percent sure. <laughs> will that be advantage? He's not, he's not expecting it. I don't know. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. So as this happens, Mortus kind of gives a smile, and he goes, It's like, how fortuitous. I've been meaning to test my new toy. He holds out his hand, and you see the, 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 um, the glowing red of the ruined stone in his hand, about the size of a fist. And he murmurs a couple words and says, Give my visage knowledge of what's behind that door. And he begins to glow and shake and vibrate. And he kind of looks at it nervously. And he goes, What's happening? What's wrong? And Maruk, you feel yourself oh, get to vibrate you. too, like your, your entire no. being down to like the molecules in your body are just turning to slush. I as I I, I go into a rage and as I lit I bust past this guy and literally just with the last ounces of strength that I have, I will I'm I will run towards this guy and make. You know what? No, I'm gonna halt. Wait, last time's of strength. Grab the visage, drag him into next to this. Try to drag him closer to him so that we all we're all going down. <laughs> if I'm going, so is this visage. Well, let's give me give me a quick strength check. Can I do this with advantage since it's my last Yeah, you're using gas. all your, your, all your adrenaline. So, okay. Well, go ahead and roll. 16. So you grab this Death Knight. Start pushing him forward as your body's vibrating. And Can I yell back? This... Go ahead. I yell back. Run! Mortus is just staring in horror at the room, so he's saying, What is happening? He looks, looks at you, Maruk. He goes, No. Its soul already you... belongs to another! He starts more violently, violently, just the entire room begins to shake, and the ruined stone just explodes in a giant fireball, and all that's left of Mortus is just this half disintegrated charred corpse and as you start pushing the visage Maruk you start to feel weaker and weaker but you feel something inside you something familiar as you push him forward and your strength begins to come back somewhat as Mortus disintegrates you do not despite everything you've been told. But I do want you to take one level of exhaustion. You hear this voice in your head. 
an elderly wizened voice say make it make it worth it my child Ooh. oh my goodness well um I think we can do a quick combat before midnight if you guys want or we can do it yeah if it's just one I mean yeah, it's just one guy yeah. one death knight yeah. Hopefully he's you know can take fire damage. And what could a death knight do, right, Arthas? Yeah. I was also gonna use Arthas. I was saying that's too on the nose. Hmm. Alright, let's roll roll initiative. Should say wait, is initiative an ability check? Oh my god. God! Come on! <laughs> you still got higher than me. Uh, and Selena. Joey, would you consider a initiative an ability check? Uh, I don't know if that technically no. is an ability check. I think D&D Beyond should um, automatically do it if you do your exhaustion. You know, nope. just, for, just for fun, Wait. this might be the last time we hear it for a while. Do a rap battle. <laughs> what about, what about, and bear with me, Wiggle Wop by Party Favor? <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on, Wiggle Wop. Don't stop, baby. Let me see you, Wiggle Wop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, the roll worked. What? It put you on there? Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> Maybe last time you didn't uh, click your icon or something. Yeah, I think he did. Get Baruka, you asked me first. Uh, would you say this, I'm still grappling and trying to shove this guy? I would say he is grappled, sure. Make sure that... That just means he has zero movement. The vestige. You did push him forward a little bit, so we're you. Head to the stairs here. I'm gonna put All right. Him. Oh, I'm more, I, and I am absolutely livid. Oh, you are raging too. Yeah, I am. So I'm right. I'm already raging. And exhausted. Yes. Yeah. So. Well, he's had to deal with us for a while, so. Yeah, uh, which also means. Uh, it's, it's like two years of this crap. Whenever anyone hits me, um, they take 1d6 force damage. Ooh! Okay. I just. I'm I'm already just mad as hell, so I'm a reckless attack. I'm gonna put a number on you. So let me see Josh and Lizzie yeah. My uh, for, uh, for, uh, for my benefit. For your knowledge. Uh, Wait, that's the wrong. That's the wrong freaking. Hold on. Ig ignore the next hit roll, but just. Uh, did sixteen hit? Will not hit. All right, and we won't roll damage then. So I need to put a minus on me. So it goes. Actually, I need to put a plus on me. There we go. Make your booty pop, pop, pop. Oh, was that a reckless attack? Yeah, first one was a reckless. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just throwing out things like it was going out of style, and that's my turn. Alright, 
So he's going to, with one of his free, with his free hands, take the sword. And... Plunge it into the ground and cast Destructive Wave. Want Baruch, Lucilla, and Lemon make a constitutional saving throw as the wave hits you. Had to be constitution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be dexterity, could it? <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Lily gets a plus three at least. Yeah. Good. Thank God. Sixteen. <laughs> right. Um, Rook. Check. Ooh. What sort of damage is it? I'll tell you. So you all fail. You take... Even a 17? Yeah. Take um, 15 thunder damage. And then... 13... uh, uh, 17 necrotic damage. Took a lot out of me. Right. Those are both damages that I am not resistant to. Right, fire elemental. Okay. Fire elemental is going to uh, tiptoe around his friends to pop here on his face. <laughs> Thus, hopefully, lighting him on fire. By the way, um, does the hallway go north and south from uh, from Rook? It does. I'll show you what it is. Okay. Not too exciting. Merc does say, "If you've gotten the healing, I kind of need it." <laughs> oh, I'm so hurt. Does fire heal you? No. And I can't do anything. Um, okay, so from there, so he is. Uh, I've entered the creature's space, so uh, attempting to give him seven fire damage, and he is ignited. And then the attacks against him a 14 and a 23. The 23 will hit. All right, that is going to be 14 fire damage. How much? 14. So a grand total that turn of 21 fire damage. Okay. And that is fire elemental's turn. All right, Lucilla. Lucilla. He's probably... She's, she's... Inside of fire, sorry, he's, this creature's yeah. inside an elemental. I think he can still attack him. Well, what I'm gonna do is uh, she's gonna uh, slap her hands together and let the electricity crackle out of him a little bit, and then she's gonna witch bolt him. <laughs> okay. If I can get, the, if I can actually hit him, but that's the hope. Come on, dice, don't let me down. Here we go. You son of a bitch! But you asked them to be nice, so. <laughs> Not happening. Okay, Dude, well, this... whatever. Yeah, I know. All right, move on. Let's leave all of you up here. Sleep in fire. Me. Which bolt has been used? Get my spell slots. Get my spell slots. Where are you? Is that your turn, though? Uh, it is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Um, Selena. So, where I am, I am going to uh, move my hunter's mark on that guy and shoot him twice. Right. 
14 misses. 24 it hits. Would. Another feeling. Missing. So 11. And we can't do anything because we both use our movement to get up here. I know I might as put you there because I don't want you way in the other room. Oh. Okay then. Um, let's see here. Uh, Rudy is going to charge at this uh, this beast of a man. Uh, we'll say since he's, he's inside the, the fire is, elemental, and... it'll be like you're attacking the fire elemental. Uh, so you might take fire damage. Rudy still does it. Rudy, uh, Rudy is not afraid of no fire. Billy Kitty. Six because of uh, uh, the mo the charge, so that hits more than the arrow does. Yeah. Takes cougar damage. Takes how much damage? Cougar damage. <laughs> cougar damage. Yeah. So how much fire do I get? Um. Roll. Um. Uh, was a D10, Bryce. Uh, yeah. Or you'll take four fire damage. We need to find a way to combine your two attacks so that it, it, like, you, it means nothing to him. I uh, just I like I do a uh, uh, Renoa or whatever. Uh, I uh, just uh, mount Rudy on, onto your bow and just fire him at people. <laughs> yeah. Or Renoa, yeah. Do you want to move out of the like out of the guy's circle so people can attack him without taking damage? Yeah. Okay. Alright, <laughs> Rudy can take four help. I am... Well, first of all... Uh... There it is. Third level healing word on Maruk. Yay! He needed that. Yeah. And I was down to down to maybe. I was down to like almost a quarter of my health. Now I'm back up to half. Yay! Yay! Uh, eighteen and twenty-one. Um. 21 will hit. Uh, 14 bludgeoning. Hey. Uh, I'm just going to keep hitting it with my sword. 15. Yes. 24. Hit. And... That's my turn. Low damage. My turn is adding up. Oh, this um, is and... Will extend one hand and cast a hellfire orb into the middle of the hallway. Selena, Loisula, Lemon, and Maruk give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, thank goodness. So, I see this coming, right? Don't forget to uh, you see, um, you see him doing it. Yeah. Oh, then I'm flying this. Then I roll this flat. Rudy gets the next thing throw to me. You roll it flat. And uh, I have disadvantage oh, that's on. That's right. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's only ability throws. So actually, yeah, I do get the roll advantage. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't matter three. any. It doesn't matter anyways. Sorry, I'm 
all the damage first. Don't look. Mm. Uh, it looks like Selena and Lily are going to be the only ones even close to succeeding. <laughs> So, oh, does it take fire damage since it didn't put itself out? It will. Okay. If you failed, you take 44 fire damage. Well, oh, thank God you healed me. He's dead. No! And then thir um, 34 necrotic damage. Uh, I am now di I'm down. Holy fuck, Joey! What is that? And you take half damage if you if you uh, succeed in this. Well, I succeeded, yeah. But w what are we looking at here now? Give me those big numbers again. 44 and 35. 44 and 35. And that was aiming down the hallway away from me, right? Yeah, you don't get, you didn't get hit by it. Hold on. 44 plus 35 is 70. Oh. Yeah, I mean, 79. 79. We're not fully dead, but we're rolling death rolls. 79. Yeah. 39.5 at, at half. I'll round up to a 40. Oh, and he's no longer grappled. Well, unless you would say that I'm uh, holding on to him in my death throes. <laughs> I would say he's not grappled anymore. Well, so that's 70, 79 divided by, divided by 40. 40. What you're looking at. Yeah, 40. 40. 40. Okay. Um, also, Joey, the start of his turn, he should have taken 7 fire. I rolled a 10. So I'm oh, 10. 10 fire. Perfect. Is he even bloody? He's bloody. Okay. There's and then, uh, is this an attack, technically? It was, a, it was like a fireball. Oh, yeah, that's right. He takes, um... Yeah, I'm only taking 20 of that damage. <laughs> Asses to him. <laughs> down here. That would have been nice. <sighs> yeah, but, uh, as, the, as a last bastion, the yeah. la one last bit of attack, uh... You can see, like, what, there's whatever glow he had in his eyes is slightly faded. He can't do that again. Oh, yeah, your your surge attack. <laughs> yeah, he takes forward force damage as I, as, as I fall down to the ground. He didn't attack you, though, with a melee attack or anything. Yeah, that's true. Wait, read this. It's not just... Okay. All right. Fire elemental. All right. Uh, we are going to be a little boring and just thwack him. Uh, well, it's not a thwack. It's a touch. And do that twice. Uh, I assume a 10 doesn't hit, but as a 19. Does not. Bad well, touch. <laughs> those were both some pretty bad touches. Um, yeah. That's my turn. I don't really have anything else to do. All uh, right. Oh, yep. Computer? Internet? Computer? Thing? I will tear you off of my desk and throw you out the freaking window if you don't roll more than a 10 on both of these damn attacks, okay? <laughs> do you hear me? Do you hear me? It's this this whole rolling, fi rolling fives and ones all night? Unacceptable. So we're going to trot up. And we're gonna try our best. We're gonna try to hit this man. Okay. Scimitar speed. First attack. Oh. Thank you. D don't, don't say anything yet. <laughs> nope. He gets it. No, no. I meant, I don't. I don't sigh, breathe a sigh of relief until you roll that second one. Second attack. <laughs> Whatever. 
Yes, God damn it, bun! <laughs> At, at, at least you got sneak attack damage. Yeah, retreating a little bit. Shaking off the singe. <laughs> After seeing Rudy um, get disintegrated by this beast's fire, uh, like Selena gets really mad and does something completely out of the ordinary and takes aim and fires twice with her bow and arrow. Whoa! <laughs> hey now. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Hey, it's getting a little rambunctious, ain't he? It's good that that hits. Oh, that's two. Well, you still on rampage. Or, um, wow, you're on a rampage. Full, yeah, full damage. This thing's looking mortal. Yeah, under uh, under her breath, she goes for Rudy. <laughs> Well, he, he did manage to take out half of the party in one hit. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Speaking of that, it's... Yeah, Maruk and Lemon, give me a death saving throw. Uh, Alright, you get one pip, Maruk. I'm, I'm using inspiration. Okay. Okay, one save throw. One save pip. But, uh, but let me... Then, what? No, I'm going to use mine too. Uh, there is a, a, a favorite by the gods where I can add a uh, uh, a add 2d4 to, uh, to any saving throw, including death. So, uh, that turns it into a 12. Oh! Nice. That's why this guy is chandering so high. He's a 17. Because that thing can just like decimate. Be pretty fast, but he's gonna turn to. With his. In his death throw. He'll make three attacks against fire elemental unless seven kills him because that's how much he fire he took this turn it's not dead quite yet okay will, will, will he take damage when he attacks you though no wait all that all that happens is that he uh wait hold on a creature t a creature that touches the elemental or hits it with a melee attack while within five feet of it takes five fire damage so yeah, he would, every attack is going to be like a Thorn's aura here. Okay, well, he'll get to hit you once. Okay. <laughs> he'll get to hit you once and then <laughs> burn away. For seven slashing damage. Seven slashing damage. Okay, that cuts in half for me, so it's four. And he takes... And then 27 product. Okay, that I can't half. So four and 27... And he only took one damage in return from that. Well, I guess only how much health he had. <laughs> was it one? One. Ha <laughs> 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 Love it. That still is a big chunk of my life, though. One attack. And the first high priest of Merkel is dead. That's who he was. First high priest. Hey. And I'd so celebrate is... if I wasn't dying. Yeah. <laughs> How do you stabilize these two? I stop being a fire elemental blah as a bonus action, and then I cast Cure Wounds on both of them. Um we'll do third level slots. Okay. Uh Lemon gets fifteen. And Marut gets 14. Uh, before he casts the Cure Wounds, Selena rushes over to uh, Marut's uh, body and tries to like shove him hum, him off of uh, off of uh, Rudy, who his body is like crushing, even though Rudy's also dead. <laughs> oh, Rudy's dead too? Yeah, unfortunately, Rudy cannot be resurrected. Oh, no! Well, he gets to 
He's, oh, a, magic, that? he's a magic fairy cat. Oh, so he'll come back. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. You get those like dramatic touching moments where like Selena's crying tears of sorrow because her friend is dead, even still knowing that she he could become being back after the next rest. Okay. Can we, can we go find somewhere safe and take a short rest? So okay, so I have no health. So you do see Mortus, half his body just disintegrated and charred. Other half is charred. Uh, the ruined stone. You just see the shattered pieces. Like glass on the floor around him. They say if you eat a shard, you get the whole rest. Is, um, does this mean that Maruk isn't tied to that thing anymore? I don't think so. Somebody, some, I think I just think somebody was looking out for me. Maruk, as he kind of stand back up, only take another level of exhaustion. Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh, I think this was a temporary repeat. I would like to get to the next part before we end, so you mind if I... You probably want to probably take a short rest. Okay. Um, Me. And if you don't mind, I can kind of skip ahead some... A tiny bit of exploration. To skip to the next part before the next session ends, or this session ends. Uh, I'm just, okay with it. Okay. Just using up all my hit dice. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm the also... same thing that happened on the boat, uh, Bryce. Like when that orb exploded. Uh huh. Is basically that. Got it. There we go. Glad we got a short rest. I could be an elemental again. Oh no! <laughs> it only refills on shorts. Refills on shorts. Oh, I, I didn't even earn enough to uh, to max back out. <laughs> if you're worried about being in a safe spot, you retreat back to the, you know, the other room. Hold on, it's this thing is acting weird. You have to like select how many hit dice you want to use, and then make sure you hit. Like... I didn't hit. It... Yeah, the button with the heart in it that appears underneath them. Yeah, it's it's not letting me do that. I never understood that. I just roll them virtually. I think people hey. get confused with the Beyond Twenty like integration that doesn't actually heal. Yeah. Heal you. Yeah. When it, yeah, if you hit the red button for roll to hit, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. And I want to. And I like. Rolling them one at a time, anyways. Like instead of checking it off and saying, "Well, I'm going to roll four. You might not need four if you roll the three at high and get high ones. Uh, I needed a hundred hit points to get back, so I I decided to roll all of them, <laughs> and I'm up to ninety two. <laughs> and that includes the thirteen or fifteen I healed you with, right? Yeah. Okay. Well. I <laughs> Okay. There's some ones and twos there. One, twos, and threes. Alright, I still have some more. I still have a lot more hit dice. That is literally all of my hit dice. In which case, but I'm back, I'm near full health. Look at the also, table. also, what? I said I should look at the exhaustion table. Uh, my speed is halved, and my ability speed and my ability checks are halved, mm. or disadvantage. Yeah, Maruk. Like during this time, like you're you're just feeling ill. Like something is wrong with you. But you're literally keeping it together. Yeah. Okay, so as you... Oh, one more thing. Uh, I gained back my... Uh, since I rolled hit dice, 
I gain back my sorcery points. So as you explore further, you see just crypts filled with bones and uh, crests of forgotten families. As you tiptoe past the bones, some of them just start to reach out for you, like some of the hands. But you just slowly slip past them. As you reach about here... Sorry, get out of here, Rudy. End nope. message. Rudy. <laughs> oh, Rudy. Let's eat him. Graven's steps ascend into a wide, octagonal chamber with a high, vaulted ceiling. The mosaic floor is littered with rubble, and a pool of murky water floods the far side of the chamber. Strange fungi cling to the moist walls. To the north, an arched hallway plunges into the dark. As you approach, a hollow voice booms from beyond. Who dares disturb the rest of Charitavistri at all? The Ebon Death. I do. Hi, I'm Selena Nomez, and uh, I'm going to hurt you. You see <laughs> Ford resting in a, in a pool of um, dark water. You do see Evan Death, and the body of Navo, raise their head. He takes. Just a couple of lazy steps forward to show his full his full might. Uh, just to note, we can't actually see that on the map. We can't? Oh. No. This thing seems weird. There. Ta-da, there he is. Scary. Hello. Hello. What are you having death? Hello. Hello. That's my layer here. See, I got a pool of water, that's where I stay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but we will continue this next time. There we go. There we go. Tune so, in next so week. Long rest time, right? Next episode. No, and never do that. And yeah, Maruka's is not feeling so hot. Yes, yeah, Selena, I'll... you could probably use more healing. You want to use more hit dice? Unless, unless you already used them all. Alright. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, thank you. This one was a fun one. No, I next, gotta... Next session oh. will more than likely uh, be the final one of the campaign. Yay! Uh, hey. Think about that. Necromancer. We'll be free. Free! <laughs> Except for you, Bund. No! <laughs> you love it. He's playing in our <laughs> other game. Alright, thanks everyone. Uh, good night. Night. All right. Oh, hey, wait, I one thing that I wanted to ask. Um, when uh, Lemon got the Guiding Bolt and so had advantage attacks on her, I, does it make sense for anyone to to an ally to use like a super weak attack, like an unarmed strike, to use up that advantage so that it doesn't trigger on a bad guy, or is that too big? Is that a dumb waste of a turn? It would technically be the first hit against it. Um. So, one, but can, but it would that would work in some circumstances, like um, uh, there are one. Uh, yeah, like if you're right next to them, you could just uh, say uh, I hit them unarmed and just do one hit point damage kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it, that's would... a, uh, it also works for if uh, I believe if somebody is charmed, uh, they uh, they snap out of it when they take damage. 
time or sleep. Yeah. Okay. But is that, I mean, that would take your action of your turn, right? Yeah. Yes. If you had multi attack, could you attack, use one of your attacks on your ally to either wake them up or, like I said, use up that advantage and then use your second attack on yeah. something no useful? Reason why, no reason why you couldn't. Um, I was thinking about that, but obviously I couldn't, as a fire person, do that. So <laughs> it, too it, it does say attack roll, so you will have to roll against it. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, I was just, just curious about that. Alright. There's nothing to say you can't do it. It's just next attack roll. It doesn't say friendly or... Yeah. No, if you, if you do it friendly, the friendly has the option to waive the right of their armor class. Basically allow you to hit yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, because it it's essentially um, uh, when you're attacking somebody, they are an unwilling uh, target. So uh, so uh, that's why the okay. AC. Okay. It does say attack roll. <laughs> Although you're saying yeah. a friendly a friendly person can choose to just forgo it, even though they roll. So yeah, yeah. Basically, allow somebody to hit them. Got it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. Interesting stuff. Right on. All right. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Right on. Oh, cheater. <laughs> cheater. <laughs> yeah.